Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the Witcher Netflix series just keeps getting crazier and crazier. First, we got the news about how OG writers, you know, the producers and that, they really did not like the source material, like the books and the games, and they wanted to stray from that a little bit. They kind of followed it because it is the Witcher, but they wanted to do their own things. They hated it. And how are you gonna be a writer on a Witcher Netflix series and you're gonna have a TV sh uh, show and you're not going to follow the source material. And Henry Cavill, if you have not heard, which probably everyone has, has departed from the Witcher Netflix series. And who's to take his place is Liam Hemsworth. If you don't know who that is, he's playing the Hunger Games with Katniss in the very first movie and so on and so forth. And he's a decent, fairly well-known actor. But besides that, um, Henry Cavill had a clause in his contract stating that, um, you know, that they keep as close as possible to the source material. You know, he just wanted them to honor Andrei Sapolsky's work, meaning like, hey, you know, this is his book. This is his stuff that he created. Let's keep it as close as possible to what his um, ideas were. And I also blame Andrei Sapolsky as well because he was on set. I don't know if they maybe kept him behind doors or he didn't really understand what was going on when it came to the scripts, if he had kind of a part into it, but he was there. He did see everything. Like I said, I just don't know how far he knew or what they were changing but if he did then he is to blame as well because money does buy people and i'm not saying that's what happened to him but if he's there and he's seeing it well he should have spoke up and said hey look you are using my material and you should not be writing it in this way because you should be at least following as closely to my material the source material as possible that's why people fell in love with the witcher to begin with well with all that being said there's now a petition out and right now it's up over a hundred thousand petitioners that have signed it and i think right now it's like up over a hundred and twelve thousand petitioners people just keep signing it to um show netflix hey we have fed up we are not going to take this and we want henry back and henry i feel like he did step out bow out because of them not following or he wanted he's even had interviews saying like i tried to stay on top of them make sure that they stay on the straight and narrow and follow the source material as much as possible because um, these petitioners are also saying as well, you know, they want Henry back and they don't blame him for wanting to leave. But also the fact of now you have Liam Hemsworth that if you heard of all this stuff that's been going on with the source material not following it, him as an actor just wanting to take up the role like, oh yeah, sure. But here's my thing. If Henry Cavill, who literally has played the games, read the books and is very passionate about it, couldn't get the writers and Netflix themselves to stay true to it. What makes you think Liam is going to do that as well? So he's just going to take it up. It's kind of disrespectful, meaning like I wouldn't want to take a role that is not going to be true to the series. And, you know, when you have writers and producers that hated the games and books, that doesn't give me much confidence. And that was one of the things where Henry actually had an interview. I think it was in New York where he sat down and they ended up talking about, you know, Superman, The Witcher and Enola Holmes too, all of them. And in one of the moments actually i'll just play the clip and you guys can watch because he seems very um like he does seem upset about it he seems irritated at the fact that you know like this is something he wanted to do he chased after this role he literally contacted netflix saying i want to be on this role and he signed a contract for three seasons and he said he is definitely willing to do more up to seven a lot of people think oh because superman's coming well Here's the thing, in the back of his mind, he's even said he knew like if that part ever came again, he wasn't sure, but he just put it back there like he hung it up in the closet, his cape up in the closet saying, hey, if they call, I'll be there to answer. But he said no matter what, he wanted to do seven seasons as long as Netflix follows that source material. He literally stated it. And as you could see here in this interview, I'll play it right now and you can kind of get an idea of his body language and how he feels on the whole topic. So the nose. <laughs> and I, yeah, it's, it's just about belief. If you believe what you're doing is the right thing, then you'll be able to keep on doing it. Uh, it's also important to know that if you realize you're doing the wrong thing, that's when you stop doing the wrong thing. You don't just keep on going just because, because that leads down a, a dark path. As, uh... So like Henry Cavill said, you know, when you know you need to get out, pretty much you need to get out because he's trying to put it the polite way. He's not trying to banter or bash anyone, but you could tell just from that little clip 
that things were not going very well with the Witcher Netflix series. So he ended up deciding to say, hey, look, you know what? I did my three seasons. I'm out. I have Superman coming up and everything. But this petition that's going out now is to bring Henry back or at least have Netflix follow suit and do what they need to do to make this the Witcher Netflix series we all want. You know, the first season actually wasn't all that bad. It was a lot slower, but it followed the short stories. I've read the books myself. But then when you start getting into the novels, they literally took left hand turn, 90 degree angle, real sharp. And I was like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't remember a lot of this from the book. It's just their own made up vision of it. And even the trailers, you know, I seen the trailers for the Witcher Netflix series two, uh, season two that came out. Oh my God, it, the music didn't fit. There shouldn't be no hip hop or rap or anything like that or pop. Why couldn't you play some type of like Slavic music, like Polish, like The Witcher 3, you know, just have that fantasy medieval vibe music. You could definitely do that. And when they played the music, all I saw in the comments on YouTube or anywhere else, which is people like, this was the worst song to ever pick in a trailer because you could tell it's all a money gimmick. You know what I'm saying? You know, they realize how popular the game is and that's all they wanted to run with it. And it seems like there was no heart in it besides Henry that went in there because he is honoring what the books and the games are. Andre Sapolsky himself even said about Henry Cavill saying he was more than happy with Henry Cavill's appearance as the Witcher. He said he's a real professional just as Viggo Mortensen gave his face to Aragorn, Aragorn, so Henry gave his to Geralt, and it shall be forever so. I mean, when Viggo played Aragorn in Lord of the Rings, which Lord of the Rings and The Hobbits both are my all-time favorite movies, besides Star Wars and everything else, right? Like, if you want to nerd out. But uh, Lord of the Rings is a prime example of how you do written literature right. Lord of the Rings is just a masterpiece it really is with the storytelling and the adventuring that's what people want that's what people want with the witcher they want to feel like you're on that adventure with them they want good storytelling they want the source material and people are buying and reading the books and they enjoy them and same thing with the game cdpr literally honored andre sapowski's work in their games even though the game took place afterwards so with that being said, you know, a lot of people believe, just same as me, Henry isn't leaving The Witcher because of Superman. I honestly believe it's because Netflix executives and the writers and that just choose not to honor the source material or want to follow Henry Cavill and what he's trying to push on them as well. And the reason why, honestly, it's a popular show, it's because of the fans. You know, we love the books, we love the games. And we do love the show because Henry does an amazing job and there's a lot of other good actors that are in there. But there's so much stuff that just doesn't fit with what is there. You're changing too much and now you're just literally changing the story arc of everything. So I want to share this with you guys because this is a pretty big thing right now. And like I said, it's up over 100,000 petitioners and this is literally just went live not very long ago. I mean, that's how fast this is literally signed petitions. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you're going to go sign it and be part of it as well. Me, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to continue watching The Witcher after season three if Henry doesn't come back or if they don't change some type of footing in how they're writing this because I really do not like the way and the direction that they're going with The Witcher. And already the way Henry is bowed out and seeing his demeanor and attitude towards how Netflix is taking it, I have very little expectations for season three, and which is quite sad because that'll be releasing soon and I always love more of The Witcher. Now, with that being said, you guys, that's all I have for you in this video. I want to update you on it and all so you guys can go check it out yourselves. Other than that, you can follow me on Twitter at Hambone Gaming. If you are new to the channel and like to help support the channel, consider subscribing, you guys. If you like the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you wanna stay up to date with all new content or news or updates, anything like that, just be sure to hit that bell notification. That way it just pops up and notifies you right away. Other than that, you guys, that's all I got for you and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.